show. Yee okay, go. The fashion, beauty, and publishing world is very fickle. It thrives on change. We always want what's new, what's stylish, what's trendy. And this, this also goes for people. There's always what we call the flavor of the month. It used to apply. Like who's the model du jour, hair and makeup artist du jour, or photographer du jour? When my guest emerged on the scene in the late 80s, he was christened the bad boy of Philippine photography because he, had a, he was the youngest, he had a unique style, very talented, very strong personality. But 35 years later, bad boy upon bad boy would emerge. And in fact, it's still being debated upon today. Mga title conscious ang Pinoy talaga. But here he is still on top, still everybody's favorite. And he promises to share and spill all his secrets to being ageless and evergreen in this scene. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet my good friend, Raymond Isaac. Yay! Yes, again, and then looking up, then put your glasses on, and then chat. We have 17 viewers. Nakakahiya, 17 viewers. But thank you. Hello, 17 viewers. Hello, Chester Ong. Um, hello, April. Promise to greet her. See April? Which April? April Galang. Hi. Lahat ito, bayad ko. Alam mo ba yun, Mirza? <laughs> Kaya nga ikaw yung guest eh. Alam ko may following. <laughs> Baliw. Kaya alam mo may guest ako dahil babayaran ko yung viewers natin. Joke lang po. So, first question. <laughs> yes. what's, hap what's happening on your wall? Bakit may ganap na naman? Laging may ganap on your wall. I saw there, basta for me, si Raymond Isaac pa rin ang bad boy ko. What's there, that? No, there was I, I woke up with that with that surprise in my wall. Na parang nag-aaway ang mga photographers. Uh kung sino daw ang the best so and so and so and so. Eh ako I don't I don't believe in that anymore. I've grown old in this in this uh, industry na no offense kasi you come from a magazine also. If a magazine tells you these are the top photographers by this magazine. I'm like, yeah, well, maybe they work for you. That's why you want to credit them and make them feel good. Okay lang sa akin. I mean, again, Again, it's it's everybody has a point of view. So, but on an early age, the reason why I'm saying that is that most of the award-winning bodies in the Philippines are people who credit in the Philippines. The problem is that it's not based on merit or based on your peers who will actually tell you. If, 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 if the survey says, you know, Jun De Leon, Rick Tisman, you know, the big people say, oh, Raymond is the best among us. And then, oh my God, I like say, Oh my God, I, I, I wouldn't know what to say. But if it's somebody else will say who has no intelligent basis of what a good photographer is, I would say, okay, you know, gusto mangyari, di wala akong magagawa, wala kasapin na. That's what happened today. So there was a poll, there was a survey of who the best photographers are. And ito, the best photography, uh, photographers in the Philippines talagang encompassing. I didn't even want to be in the list. Ang point ko, I want, bakit wala yung mga people who went ahead of me, like June DeLeon for that matter, or Rick Tisman for that matter. Ang daming magagaling, or even travel photographers like, uh, oh my God, I forgot his name. But you know, you know what, I, I think you know what the gist of what I'm saying. So people are prompting me to answer, but I said, why do I need to answer? I don't prompting you to answer if you're the best or not? Wow. <laughs> no, not even me. Prompting me to correct now the, to correct now the service. Sabi ko, Uy, wala tayong karapatan to correct any survey. Kung nga yun, you know, ito nga sa Pilipinas, ang survey that the best kunyari is this. You know, everybody has their you know, points of view and defense of opinion. Okay rin tayo. Uh. Siyempre, there are many measures of success, di ba? Which we're going to touch upon later. But first things first, why were you christened the bad boy? And who, who christened you? Sino ang the uh, press. The press. title awarding body? <laughs> no, walang title awarding body. Ito yung maganda. Um, you know in the Philippines that no matter how much your award is, Urian, yan, yung mga, you know, top of the line award bodies and so on and so forth, no matter how much these award giving bodies will give you a, an honor or a trophy or a recognition, sometimes it doesn't work for the common people because the common people don't know naman sometimes most of this. Eh. But what works is that if the media or the press names you something like that, like kunyari, the artistas, the mega star, the bad boy of Philippine cinema, or kaya the star for all seasons, like kanina, guess ko, the star for all seasonings, ganun. 
the people people listen without without uh, without having conjectures of totoo ba yan of ano ba yan because it's a media title it's uh, you can be the darling of the media for whatever reason and people will accept it more openly than saying because this is the truth you know for, from from another kind of you know body so the yun na the media was the one who said that na uh, bad boy ako dahil lahat na kinukunan ko from I jumped from uh, very conservative photography to mood photography so I was doing all the sexy ones and I had that uh, uncanny ability to make people take off their clothes <laughs> So what happened was um, during the oh. 80s to the 90s, puro hubad yung binigay sa akin. In fact, so it's be- it's because of your uh, nude photography of models. That's how it started. That's the nude you photography. were oh. christened the bad boy. What year was this, if you don't mind my asking? I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember. But I remember though, just to carbon date me, I'm counting backwards. Huh? 1981, I graduated high school, which means 1983. Nagtatrabaho na ako. I was an assistant in a studio. I, I, you know what? One of the secrets of the success, which because connected to what I'm saying now, is that you never go out into the world and say, I want to be famous. Because right. being famous is not a sign of success. Sign of success is when you achieve something other people cannot achieve, and then you get recognized for it. Uh, being a celebrity or a, uh, or being recognized as successful or famous is a byproduct of somebody who's worked hard for what they're doing. So ganon nang nangyari. I wanted to work as an assistant. Wala akong wala akong ano wala akong dreams to do to to be a premier photographer of some sort or or even reach this far. Did you study photography? I studied film. In fact, oh, that was the reason okay. why uh, my point of view in photography has always been different from the rest of the world. Or not the rest of the world, the rest of the world, the whole international. <laughs> from a majority of people, is because people uh, take lighting in a form of flash photography. Yung mga softbox, umbrella, and that's how they... They're very technical. Whereas if I'm a film major, mine is storytelling. So if you notice, okay. like you know, Mirza, when we have concepts, like I, I know people don't know this, but when Mirza was modeling with Sina Richard Cepeda and I guess Ringa before, what happened was that if there is a concept I want to bring to client, Mirza and all these other models would do this concept with me. And then it hits, it, it, I, I, I know, hit two birds with one stone. It becomes their portfolio. And then at the same time, when the client comes in, ay, ang ganda ng concept. Of course, na-practice ko na. Kaya akala ng tao magaling ako. In then, nagpa-practice ako. In fact, I do it with you guys and that's the reason why when the client comes in, like, oh my God, Raymond, you're a genius. At the back of my head, hindi, nagawa na namin to ni Mears. Here, for the people's benefit, this was me when I got my very first headshot shot by Raymond Isaac in 1989. 89 ba yan? Yes, and here is another one where I brought my ex-boyfriend's cat So, yan yung mga practice-practice natin. Here's another one. Oh my God! Saan ang pulot yung mga yan? The cover of WQ. I kept everything. Si Tony Lorenzo! And this one, I don't know if you oh, remember. Oh, I love that. I love this editorial of ours. This is one of the best that up to now, I still want to print it because it's a classic. You the late know. Gabby Barredo made this uh, chain mail outfit. So, re- because uh, my... First modeling agency, Faces Asia, Correct. was uh, shared a space with Raymond Isaac's photo studio. Uh-huh. We hung around a lot, so I hung around a lot, and he always needed somebody to test the lights with, and I was always there. Correct. So that was the start of our many collaborations. Eventually, he persuaded me. Uh, as well as many others to post nude. Well, I didn't need much persuading, actually. No, 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 no. In fairness to to you, you were you were very shy, but you were. Was really, I? Yes, you were. You were. In fact, in fact, I I used to remember people think people because there's they're different. There's a he said she said always point of view in in all our histories. But the point is, my point of view is this: I was so afraid to ask you because you were you were conservative, you were shy, and then. Siguro it took a while until finally I said, you know, you should try it because alam ko, I won't, I'll protect you, number one. Number two, 
I'm not a maniacist, number one, because <laughs> I bat for the same team. So I'm say, I'm 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 always giving you signals that don't worry, hindi kita mapastusin or something. I think that that gave you more or less. You guys gave gave in. Well, I was the- definitely in good hands. I don't recall being shy because remember that story of so we did it already post nude and then better ko ikaw magkwento and then we had the lunch break. Oh my God, that is the one, the one of the story. most unforgettable nude pictures we had with Mirza. In fact, I'll fast forward. So, we pictorial kami ni Mirza, humad siya, and then we're tired because we've been doing so many concepts. And then, nag-order ako ng pizza, uh, uh, take a uh, delivery. So, I think it was Wendy's. Wendy's pala, oh, Wendy's. And then, pagda- pagdating doon ng ano, nung delivery guy, said, oh, sige, pasok mo na dito, baba mo yung pagkain. So, pumasok yung delivery guy, and the guy was in shock. He couldn't move. So sabi ko, oye, anong problema? Can you just bring the food down and then we'll pay you? Hindi siya makagalaw. We actually forgot because we're so comfortable with each other. And not only me, the makeup artist, the assistants in the room, everybody completely forgot that Mirsa was completely naked. Even I forgot. Even you forgot. So ngayon, sabi ko mga, siguro na shock siya, ano nangyayari dito? May naglalakad na hubad na babae. So it, it became a norm in my studio na, pag may nagdi-deliver, minsan, I, I, which I, I forgot to tell you even during those days, na, minsan nag-uunahan sila kung sino magdi-deliver. Because, oh, na, the word got alam, alam na. Alam na nila na one way or another, may sexy shoot si Raymond, one way or another. So that that became the norm during the, was it 90s na yata that time that that happened the delivery? Alam ko eh. Maybe 1990. But that's how comfortable Raymond made you feel. Like, even if you were nude, because it was such a collaborative process and Raymond was, I think, by far the best in rapport with the subject. You know, he because he gave a lot of feedback. For a model, a lot of feedback is really, really helpful and great. There's some photographers that are really talented, but they don't give you feedback. So the model is left guessing. So I really learned a lot from Raymond. He would like, whenever he would click, he would go, uh, yes, yeah, you know, like that. Uh, yeah, baby, in uh, Austin Powers, or he's a photographer. Yeah, baby, that's it. But, Give me more of that. Yeah, Raymond, you know, he's giving you constant feedback. And among the models, they said, you know you're doing a good job. Pag napaputangin na mo si Raymond. Once he I says, got you remember. Putangin ang ganda mo. <laughs> that's when you knew na magaling ka. If I'm Therefore, quiet, no, maganda yung picture. Nabibigla ako kasi like, kunyari, if you, I know we got the shot. I'm like, putangin na, that's it. Tawag ka nagagalaw, leche, leche. And then I'm like, buti na lang, nasa internet tayo, we won't get, uh, we won't get uh, everything out. But once the, once the model hears me say that, parang, I can see this face na parang, ay, salamat, makakabihis na ako, nilalamig na ako dito. <laughs> like, you know, ganun tipo yun. And that kind of rapport, well, sorry to compare, it's kind of like artistic foreplay. There's like yes. a give and take. It is. And it, it's really uh, the energy that comes out of that kind of collaboration is really, really amazing. And you're sure because Raymond sees the beauty in everyone. I mean, if you ask anyone, bakit mo favorite oh. Raymond? Kasi napapaganda ka niya. He sees you know, the beauty in everyone. I'll tell you, one of the, some, the most successful tips I can tell the photographers or the young photographers even, is that we all love taking pictures of beautiful people. So, kunyari ganit, Mirza, Tweety De Leon is watching, yan, yung mga classic beauties, the, the chef girls. The point is this, do you know that the best clients are those people who feel that they're ugly? And they are the ones who will actually pay you tons to take pictures of them. Kunyari, may, may picture ako nga sa'yo, Mirza, na sabi, gusto ko yung ginawa ni Mirza na nakaganon. Sabi ko, huh? Hey, Another photographer can do the same thing. They, there's a difference between the way Mirza does that and the way you, you do it. So because it's the way you talk to the model. So yes, you're right. The way you talk to the model really helps. And number two, if you want to be a good photographer, don't be choosy. Because ang totoo niyan, beautiful people are the easiest people to shoot. Because maganda na sila given na yun. That's right. You succeed in taking pictures of people who are not socially accepted as beautiful. And I'm meaning, I'm being politically correct here, socially accepted because I love taking pictures of people like Wilma Dasi na ayaw kunin ng tao before kasi daw maitim siya. I would fight for people who I feel are beautiful. In fact, one of the most successful campaigns we did, which is your Calaba na magazine, is with Judy Ayan Santos. Uh, nobody wanted her as a cover. 
Mm-hmm. But I said, you have to get her as a model because she will pull in your reader. She will enter in with the help of one Sarte as the makeup. And we convinced uh, Mega and it became one of the most selling covers. And and she became the next uh, best endorser until now. She is one of the best endorsers uh, out there. I guess you were also very instrumental in uh, the the early 90s was when the fashion and showbiz worlds collided. Yes. In the past, magazine covers were just models. Internationally, like the Vogue covers were all models. And this it was in this point in fashion history uh-huh. where Anna Wintour put the first celebrity cover in Vogue and it changed things forever. And Raymond always had a strong connection and affinity with the showbiz world. He was straddling both the fashion and showbiz worlds. And I think that's also one of the keys to his early success. Can you talk about this artista connection and how it helped you in your career? Um, I'll tell you the truth. Um, most of the artistas that we start that started off like yung mga hindi kilala that time was Piolo Pascual, uh, Sina Echo. All these people were models actually. And then they were, in fact, the funny, funny part, I'm cleaning, because of the quarantine, I'm cleaning up my negatives and my files right now. I found two files of Yolo, not as an artista, but as a model. So what happened was, uh, it was an article about how to keep your man. And then Yolo was the support, the, the parang background guy there na inhawa ka ng modelo and so on and so forth. And then that's how the connection was going on, number one. Number two, um, according to some, uh, I take pictures of people and create a larger than life image, which means I, uh, I, you know the guy's beautiful or you know the girl's beautiful, but when you see them, they become more beautiful, para may, may glow of an artista. That is not because I am good in photography, but because of my interpretation of an artista, because I took a film. So right. the connection was that I wanted to become a filmmaker. I wanted to become a director. I was also a theater person. So I was also acting and giving out directions. So the mere fact that uh, my first client was, uh, my first major celebrity client was Martin Rivera. And I was right. doing everything for Martin. So what happened was Martin, Martin was the, parang, the pop star of men there. So people were noticing the pictures I took. And again, uh, ni pop. so it continued with pops. And then it just trickled down forever. And then they were saying, my God, you should try Raymond. You should try this and that, you know. It's the same system that we have now with the younger people. So like you have new photographers coming into the scene. You should try this, you should try this. Because before it was word of mouth and press releases that you see in magazines and, and newspapers. Now you want to say Instagram. Now it's social media. Now it's social media. So you see good photographers coming out in social media. It's a whole different scenario. So. Uh, I am I am I am in no position to judge or to critique the generation. But if the generation is working for for whatever it you know forever it's worth, then you know try the new photographer. In fact, now more than ever, I think a showbiz connection is essential. Whether you're a makeup artist or a hairstylist or a true. photographer, you're all kind of anchored on celebrities who will insist that the glam team be the certain set of people. And if you are as talented as you are, you're a photographer, but you don't have any links to any celebrities, you, you might have a hard time, right? You but don't have you- a hard time to penetrate, but it's a double-bladed sword, which I have to explain also to you and to people out there watching. When you're part of a glam team, I feel guilty when I say I'm part of the glam team because on a business point of view, nakakahiyad that, you know, I'm being dictated by a client, by, 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 by a celebrity. By the celebrity. Oh, because... Uh, I always accept the fact that I am not the only photographer in the world. We, each photographer has a different point of view to offer. I may not be the point of view of the client. So I have to impose myself because the celebrities impose However, on a business point of view, I'm saying I'm being thankful because, oh my God, I have pa ako at this point in time. I'm 35 years in the business. I'm 56 years old and I'm still competing with 20-year-olds. I'm like, I'm, I'm just thankful that it's still happening at this point in time. However, the other side of the sword of being a glam team is this. Abuses happen. So, wow. kunyari, oo, so kunyari, uh, artista ka, and then, oh, hindi, ko, hindi kita mababayaran as a makeup artist or as a photographer, but can you do this? Pero pag may project ako or endorsement, eh, pwede mo sinang singirin. 
minsan umaabuso itong mga photographers or makeup artists, tinataasan nila ng sobra-sobra. And this is the reason why glam teams nowadays are double-bladed. Sometimes people welcome the idea of glam teams, but most of the time people are getting to be worried about the, ay, ano ba nangyayari sa glam team? Baka ito na naman tayo, hindi naman pala sila competent. Or you know, it, it does bring out all these little questions out there. So, it works both way, good and bad. It's just how you, ano, it's just how you, uh, you know, take on the responsibility. So let's say I'm a budding photographer and I'm really talented. I work hard, but I don't have any celebrity connections. Is there any hope for me if I want to penetrate fashion? Yes and no. Uh, before it used to be you need you need to connect to magazines. What I did was I talked to Telma Sanwa, to Sina Milet Manangkilen, and say I want to do things for free. Ganun naman talaga, even now you do things for free until you prove it yourself. That that's a norm. That's a, so don't worry about giving things for free. However, you should know yourself for it. Today in this generation, social media and digital photography has taken over most of our systems and you know even fashion. Wala nang ang published ano masyado published magazines. Yeah. So your target market is this. That's what I always tell people. Sino gusto mo target market? If you want to target the artistas, sige, pwede ka mag-Instagram. If you want to target clients, do it in, in Facebook because most of the clients who pay are, are more ano, in Facebook. Do you so, mean advertising clients? Yeah, advertising yeah. clients. So nandun sila. Kasi most of the people who advertise will be in Facebook. Now, and dami mo choices. You can have Facebook, you can have YouTube as you know, part of your, ano, you can have Instagram. In fact, some people... I know artistas that are fri- that are friends uh, that are my friends who would actually come to me. Raymond, Raymond, Raymond. Tiga mo maganda ang Instagram ni tong guy nato. Right. And then, and then I would say, oh nga. And they would actually ask me, sa tingin mo daya ba to? Masaya ba to Photoshop? If I get him ba ano? Hindi. Muka magaling siya. I would say. And then I would tell the art the artista, sige sige try mo. Gusto ko rin malama kung bakit magkasi. Uh-uh. Actually, in the last ten years as an editor, uh, Instagram or at least as as Long as Instagram has been there, Instagram yeah, yeah. became the online portfolio of portfolio. everyone. Oh yeah, but it's, may downside. Uh, uh, I was shooting recently, and it was part of my horror stories or blind items in Facebook. May some makeup artist. Now we got paid normally for a catalog, pero di no we look niya ang model. As in Mars, para siya nakabalot sa cling wrap. Ganon na ichura ng model natin. <laughs> And here is the punch time. Back to school, ang campaign natin. So you know it doesn't, it doesn't jive. So I'm, I'm getting pissed. I'm getting worried. I posted it, and then some of the other makeup artists na uh, sa akin. Uh, thank you for our senior makeup artists who actually appeased me. This is what you call the gram, the gram makeup. Oh. Let me. Ano in the gram? Ano to cocaine? May gram ba to or something? Well, I'm true to Instagram. Oh, and there, ang, ang ano pala nila is this, they will do portfolios for Instagram. But the point is, they forgot the real reason why they're having the job is because the client wants them to, you know, to deliver for that project. Eh, nakakalimutan. So, one of those faults, and even photographers, I mean, Raymond, paano ka nagkakaroon ng portfolio pag uh, ito lang, kunyari, back to school ang catalog mo, white background na ito. It's like this, once you deliver what the client wants, the client will be good to you. Sabi mo, Oh, kunyari, Mirza, ikaw model ko. Ang client ko, kunyari, is uh, Avon. sabi na natin. O, oh, ma'am, pwede bang kuna ko muna si Miss Mirza na isang portrait na beauty kasi gagamitin ko for portfolio. Oo, oh, basta as long as kung ano yung shinote natin, hindi mapipre-em, okay lang sa akin. And that's what we did naman also with us, di ba, Mirza? If yeah, there was right. a client, I would say, pwede bang gamitin itong props na to para kay Mirza kasi gagawa kami ng fashion shoot. And they would say yes. It's, right. There is nothing wrong in actually asking. So give give your responsibility first. Do your responsibility and then tsaka kayo magtanong. Yun yung sinasabi ko. So when you say do your responsibility, meaning put in the work, meaning the work. Oh, oh. work on your skills, meaning yeah. don't sell yourself without being able to deliver, right? Okay. It all boils down to the work. And for you, uh, you have shown your range. You can shoot fashion, beauty, nudes, weddings, food, landscapes, what else? Interiors. Can you talk about how you got to that point and what kind of work did you actually put in? Do you have any oh memories about the struggles? Because most people think it's all glam, glam, glam. Yeah, that's what I was telling people. It's, oh, so can you there. talk about the struggles that it entails to learn your craft and really know your stuff 
I, you know, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, when I started, nobody wanted me. Everybody Why? hated me in Manila. Uh, I was too avant-garde. I was too ahead. I was too... So my point of view is very New York now na hindi daw nila maintindihan ko ano yung mga gusto ko ay mga concepts ko. So the truth is when they when they when they when they rejected me in Manila. Sabi ko ayo ka na, papahinga muna ako, punta muna ako ng New York, I'll study, uh, you know, and then I'll see if I'm really if I'm really stupid. So you studied in New York? I did. I did not study as in ano course. I did little pockets of workshops and ano. And then what I did is after I went to New York at nag-aral ako, Siguro sabi ko, mahal ng pamasahe pa noong araw, Mirza, so kailangan itodo mo to. So while, while going around New York, while I was a theater person, nanonood ako at the same time nag-aaral and then I moved to another place and started studying other workshops. I went back to the Philippines after my long vacation. Ang nangyari, may chismis. Oh my oh, God. Chismis this... talagang hindi ka iniiwanan ng chismis? Oh, hindi, I love the idea na hindi ako iniiwanan ng chismis. <laughs> Oh my God! There's this there's this young boy from New York. His name is ah. Isaac. Is Emistiso? Hindi naman. Lakin tundo naman ako. Hindi naman ako anak mayaman. Ano? Ang tatay ko galing Quezon Province. Ang nanay ko galing tundo. And I'll tell you the truth. I, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in or ano in my mouth. But the point is, uh, when I heard that, I said, "This is what I'm telling everybody. Listen to the weaknesses that people use against you because these are the same." weapons you can use against them wow so, so since they didn't know na who i was they forgot about my ano, i played along i said oh nga ako yung tiga new york <laughs> hi i'm raymond isaac and i'm kaya from isaac my name became raymond ah, isaac kaya pala well di naman kasi nung alinga na nanggaling ka sa new york kasi oh, physically galing nanggaling ka sa new york correct and then <laughs> ano mo pa ako saan ako nakatira Saan? New York, Cubao. Tama. So, so wala. I didn't lie. Double truth. <laughs> I didn't lie. Tika saan ka? New York po. Oh, and then sabay inom ng kape para hindi na ako magsalita. Uh, Cubao. <laughs> and so, uh, how hard did you have to prove yourself? I remember you worked in Shadow Visual. And, hard, hard. Uh, sorry? Hard. Very your hard. Mentors, your mentors were Neil Oshima and... Na, uh, Nap Hamir. Nap Hamir. Who, Who were Nap, was, Nap, Nap was my teacher in La Salle, and then when I started working, uh, he he adopted me. I love the word adopted because he he took care of me. He adopted me, and then taught me everything I've learned. Even Nilo Shima, who is a who is still a very good photographer, who I still envy up to now. You know, I've never gotten over that. Parang daddy issue ko yan. The point is. Uh, I'm not even talking about it. I'm talking about Bien Bautista, but every, all the seniors didn't. You see, that's what I feel good about my generation. The older photographers did not kick me out. They welcomed me with oh, the arms. Maybe so, they were secure in their talent. They were so secure, Mir, so that they did, the, I didn't face them. So it, here's this young, aggressive guy, but they didn't, eh, ano ngayon, kung aggressive ka, alam ko magaling ako, you know, they, they had this frame of mind na, I will teach you. If you're going to continue photography, let me teach you all these things. They all taught me. In fact, I was I was spoiled by them. You know, I seriously am spoiled by them. Up to now, I would before, pag na, I didn't have equipment. I couldn't afford equipment. Rick Tysman and Bian Bautista would lend me equipment, lenses, and so on and wow. so forth. And, and even Nilo Shima would call me one of the, one, when I was already away from studio and I would do a good project, he would call me and say, I like what you're doing. Keep it up. It's very good, and so on and so forth. So I was like, I was encouraged to do. It. Ngayon kasi, uh, I'm not saying everybody. The younger photographers have so much chip on their shoulder. Na tipo bang, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you pay respect for people. Uh, you give respect for people who have paved the way for you. And right. I did the same with the, my senior photographers. I credited them because they were the ones who gave me this opening. Na, uh, you know, and. Um, Uh, they wanted Manila wanted something new, and they did not stop me. They did not even say anything bad about me. In fact, nakakatawa when there were clients that they don't wanna. Ano, oh, you go to Raymond. Raymond will give you even more a better image. I was getting clients from them. Can you imagine that? Ingin agawa ng kliente. What did you learn from their generosity of Fano? sharing talent in mentoring you what did you learn about that that you I learned later on very, in life i learned three very important things that still count up to now number one do not be afraid of work 
I was sweeping the floor. I was an assistant. I was getting their coffee. I was driving them around. And they never taught me anything in photography for the first year. So can you imagine? Well, one whole like, year, you were oh, a gold. Para sabi ko, di na daya niyo ba ako? Kasi <laughs> kung nagdadala, kotse ko to, gasolina ko to, and ako nagwawalis. And I, and I was saying, shit, nag-aaral nag ako sa lasan, and then you're making me do this? I'm like, teka muna. But no, that wasn't the point. I understood it because if you are a, a, a photographer, and this is what they did in mentorship in abroad, they will never give you anything right there and then. Prove yourself that you are worth the, right. the values that I'm going to give you. Prove to me that I can share my secrets with you. And I've proven myself that, you know, if you want me to bring your coffee, I will bring your coffee. No questions asked. But what I did, which they taught me, which is the second one that's very important in any career or any job, even as a photographer, is the power of observation and patience. When you're bringing coffee and you're watching them, it humbles you that you see this great people walk, uh, working in front of you. So you try to absorb as much as right. you can. Kasi hindi to binabayaran sa school. These are the things that you learn in life. Yung tipo bang, oh my God, this guy is kunyari putting a reflector here, pero look at the nuances of, you know, doing this. And Ang dami mo matututo just by observing. These are the things you don't pay. These are the things that are not in the internet. Kahit ano pa ang tutor, tutorial in YouTube right now, it will never it will never be equivalent to actually being a, an assistant to a good photographer. That's why observation and humility is always there. The third one is this, never be afraid of working. Because work, I, kasi nga ngayon mga bata, I, parang I'm bored. After three months, six months, but wala pa ako sinushoot? Bakit, ano, bakit inuutusan pa rin ako? It's part of the process of evolution or in any career. You need, to, you need to absorb. You need to know what's happening. Pride shouldn't be the first thing in front of you. Pride should be you know, taken away from the equation no matter what. The fourth one is, which I've learned from them so much, is that you are never the best. That's why I said, if I'm never the best, then I will constantly study. So every time I saw from uh, out of the country, I would study, I would go to seminars, workshops, and I would continue. Up to now, I will always presume I don't know anything. I am not the best because there will always be, and that is the fear, there will always be one out there who will be more beautiful than you are if you're a model, who will be better than you as a photographer, who will be uh, stronger than you are, and who will be more vocal, like, like you know, more vocal than me, than, or mas malambing than May me. May mas vocal pa sa'yo? <laughs> Meron, buti na lang, tinamad siya. <laughs> <laughs> Aba, sino kaya yun? Which leads Wait, me to... Oh. Well, I'll, I'll tell you that I have very good assistants before, but most of them, the reason why they don't succeed is because tamad. They wanted okay. to go first. Right. Okay, which leads me to my next question. So you're enjoying, ah, wait, first, rewind Mona to, I think you had the story about the first professional model that you ever shot. And you were in awe and you were terrified and she kind of terrified you. Can you talk about that funny story? Are you, which one? Bessie Badilla or Pink Pidelis? Because I was terrified of both. Or was it France? No, France or was... was it France was, France was okay. Or, Fra or somebody was, was nude in a shoot or something? Bessie, Bessie Badilla. Okay. Both, both of them, Bessie Badilla and Pink Pedales were nude in the shoot. So I'm a sister. They were the reigning top models of the... Oh, oh they were the real senoras. Mid-80s. Mid-80s, yeah. So I'm a sister, a little boy from college. Inutusan ako ng boss ko. Kunin mo yung reflector dun sa loob ng dressing room. I'm like, ha? Huh? Kunin mo yung reflector para makahanda na tayo. So I went there and lo and behold, Bessie Badilla in only her stockings, pantyhose, walang panty, walang bra, was retouching the powder, ganun, sa harap ng ano. I'm like, I enter your shock. I'm like, okay, look, I'm gay. The point is, if you're gay, and then you see this beautiful woman, perfect boobs, nice legs, and I'm like, shit, ang ganda nitong babae to, leche to, and I'm shocked. I'm like, ang ganda mo. And I literally stopped, and I didn't realize, I my mouth was open, and I just paused yeah. there. And then she looks at me and says, Anna, I'm like, Bago ka lang dito, no? I'm like, opo. <laughs> oh, tignan mo na yan. Okay, left, right, boobs. Okay, ready, nakuha mo na. O, kunin mo na yung reflector na pinapakuha na yung naps mo yun. Kasi umalis ka na dito. I'm like, I, I, I literally, it just was, just went past me like that. I'm blissful. Traumatic. Traumatic. Even uh, the late, great Ruben Nazareth, the makeup artist who did uh, from who did international shows in Paris. Ruben Nazareth is a makeup artist for those who don't know who did the European scene. And he's one of the best 
makeup artist in, in the Philippines that has ever produced, but he died already. But the point is this, even he was very strict with me. Hoy, these are the things, you shouldn't be late. You should be sure everything is good. They were very strict, but at the same time, I knew that they were they were mothering me. So I, I just followed and I absorbed all these good qualities they were imparting actually. So what was your first big break or your first few milestones in your career? Uh, before Martin Rivera, uh, that was Martin Rivera because when I already, when I was already on my own, I had my own studio, but the first real break was with uh, SM. Um, oh. uh, Shadow Visual was doing all the SM ads and then tinamad yung photographer namin sa real star. Tinamad yung tamad talaga yung kalaban. Oh, oh. Tamad talaga. Tinamad yung photographer namin sa studio and then assistant ako. Sabi niya, ikaw na kumuha niya Christmas ads. Sabi ko, oh my God, a campaign? I'm shooting a Christmas ads? Sabi ko, I was thinking back of high fashion. So sabi ko, yes, I will do it. Pagpasok ko sa studio, I'm shooting children. <laughs> oh. No wonder they don't, want, they don't have the patience to direct children. Ete ka muna. Forte Koto, you're, you're, you're asking me to direct children. A retarded si Raymond. I can talk like a kid. <laughs> Isip bata kasi. Isip bata ako. So to make the long story short, I came out with a storybook, uh, ano, storybook campaign for Christmas. And the owner just loved it. And then she literally, little by little, gave me these assignments, not telling them na, oh, hindi, ito, shadow visual, kayo mag-shoot, bala, no, they, she literally said, the owner, typically asked for you, literally said, oh, let Raymond do it, because so Raymond, did you, did you learn that no job is too small pala? There's no such thing. Right. There is no such thing. I don't even care. In fact, when guest uh, model, uh, Anna Nicole, Anna Nicole Smith, Smith was here to do guests, ano, and then, siyempre, nagtapo ako, Raymond Isaac is not part of the, ano, of the line of, of people who were supposed to, but Neil Oshima was. Well, you know what I did? I offered myself, Neil, you don't need your assistance in this shit. Sabi ni Neil Oshima sa akin, why? Because I, I. am the greatest assistant. <laughs> so, but Raymond, you're, like, you're not gonna do anything, you're just gonna want the reflector, and the reflector, and then you're just gonna make sure that all my, Neil, I've done this, Two years with you, you think I can't do this again? So you, and then he did it, and that for me was one of the one of the you know highlights of my. I know I held the reflector for a guest jeans model. I mean, sorry, mababaw ako. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then, what what else followed? Who were the big celebrities, local and international? Yun, who you would come to shoot eventually. Yun, yun local, mara, marami na local. You, you, well, everybody. Sure right now people know that I've shot almost everybody in the local industry. But uh, one of the shockers that I've, I've got an assignment with that I'm proud, na sayang wala akong kopya, is when I shot Tom Cruise. Wow, when was that? Di ko yata yan uh, he was here for, uh, he was here for a movie born the 4th of July. It was oh. a Vietnam movie. It's a war movie shot in Ilocos. The point was, um, because nga, um, or I've been going back and forth in New York, so Ford Modeling Agency has so-called adopted me. So I became under their wing because uh, that's another story. I won one of their one of their contests, to make the long story short, in New York. Anyway, so if there are any people in the in Asia that needs to be uh, that needs to be taken care of, they call on me first. So Tom Cruise is going to Manila to the Philippines, called Raymond Isaac, and they thought I was an American because of my name, Isaac. They never actually realized I was a Filipino. <clears throat> So I go to Manila Hotel where um, Tom Cruise was billeted. And then I entered the elevator with this woman holding a bouquet this big that it's covering her face. So And then the woman says, can you press the penthouse? I said, oh, I already did because I'm going that way. And then the girl says, you're going to the penthouse? So she moves the bouquet on one side. It's Mimi Rogers, the first wife of- Oh, of, I of, forgot uh, about Mimi uh, Rogers. <laughs> the first wife of Tom Cruise. And then she says, Oh, you must be Raymond, I said. And they're friendly. I said, yes, I am, I said. And then um, uh, Tom's upstairs. He's waiting. But, you know, just tell me when you're ready. So very casual. I entered the penthouse. Tom Cruise comes out. And then I'll, 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 I, I kid you not. Paglabas ni Tom Cruise, maliit lang siya. Okay? And then he, he doesn't have that, hi, I'm Tom Cruise type of, you know, air. So I'm like, I, hindi ako na-excite. Oh, no. 
crush na crush ko pa naman si Tom Cruise. Sabi ko, share ko kung ako si Tom Cruise. Ganun, ano? And then, wala. So finally, and then Tom gives very man of few words. And then Tom says, uh, are you ready, Raymond? Because uh, we need to get this over because uh, somebody's calling me for, for another interview. So I said, can you just stand by the window? Kasi ayoko na mag-set up ng ilaw because ang, ang, ang deal ng uh, L Magazine, I think it was for L Magazine, New York, I was supplying uh, images for L Magazine and Vogue for New York that time and Bazaar. So, uh, <clears throat> so as soon as I put my camera in front of me, there was this switch. And then I saw Tom Cruise as the artist. Oh my God. I'm like, oh he my turned, God. Uh, he turned himself I, on. He turned it on. There was this light bulb. And then suddenly, and seriously, napaputang ina ko, ay putang ina. I put Tom Cruise, ay putang ina. Says, Excuse me, you were saying something. Oh, no, I can't translate, but I'm, I, if you want translation, I said, son of a bitch, I'm shooting Tom Cruise. <laughs> And then he just laughed, and then you know, Raymond, you got it. You are, you are, you're a natural. Wow. Sabi niya, do you mind if I go ahead? Sabi niya, no, no, no. Sabi ko, please, please, let me just put back my things and so on and so forth. And then Mimi Rogers comes out and says, "Can I offer you anything?" I'm like, "Ah!" I mean, with the Hollywood. Sabi ko, I, I, I just, I just couldn't take it. I, I was in shock based most of the time. Wala pang selfie noon. May picture ba kayo together? Wala ako selfie kasi na-shock ako talaga. Na-shock ako. And I, you know, there are other celebrities that I've done this with. Like uh, Naomi Campbell was here. And the biggest fight I had in the 90s was with Linda Evangelista, supermodel. Oh. So Why? That Why? was a highlight. Why? one of the highlights of my career. Linda Evangelista is a supermodel in the 90s. She came in and we were both under four modeling agencies. She... Again, if yeah, celebrities in the Philippines, they will call me. So, oh, Raymond, Linda Evangelista is coming. Can you take pictures of her for supermodel? And then we want to put it in as news item. I think it was her. elite model look. Oh, ah, yeah, elite, elite model right. look. Right. So anyway, to make the long story short, uh, people, all the designer center, again, in Manila, all these rows and racks and racks of clothes. And then I knock on the first day and says, Hi, Ms. Evangelista, it's me, Raymond. Uh, are you ready? Because we need to take some shots of you and send it to New York. Of course. Marunong na ako ng ano, call center accent. Hi, Linda. <laughs> this is Raymond Isaac. And, you know, I'm here to like take pictures of you. And then she opens the door and she's wearing nothing. She's like wearing uh, her pajamas. Oh, na naman. No, nakapajama naman siya. Oh, okay. And, pero crush ko siya, idol ko siya. Anyway, to make the long story short, I'm not ready. Uh, could you like come back tomorrow? So why is that? Because the assignment was for today. And was, I can't choose the clothes. And then when I look behind her, who take, you're talking about rows and rows and rocks. Wow. So sabi ko, girl, eh, may reputation na siya na pasaway siya. So sabi oh. ko, okay, total crush naman kita, idol kita, so papagbigay ka kasi I want a picture with her. Second day, I go back to Manila Hotel. The next day, Hi, uh, it's me again, Raymond. And then sabi niya, oh my God, you know, uh, this, uh, hindi ko lang masabi nung araw sa mga designers, your designers have given me ugly clothes. I'm like, tang ina mo, gago ka, sabi ko. Sabi niya? Oh, oh so I'm like, uh, I can't choose. They're like, oh, I can't choose. Sabi ko, can you just get one because we just need to finish? No, come back tomorrow, I promise. Oh my God. I promise I'll get imported once and then we'll, we'll shoot. Sabi ko, sige, pagbigyan kita kasi... Celebrity ka naman, VIP ka naman. Talagang ano siya, uh, winner na ako ng New York na uh, matigas ang ulo nito at pasaway ito. And then may reputation niya. She will not get out of bed or do a picture without $20,000 in front of her. Kasi yun ang start ng kanyang... Oh, ano, Kala 10 lang. 20. <laughs> uh, and then, third day I come in and then sabi niya, guess what Raymond? I found the perfect dress. It's by Calvin Klein. Hindi pa... Doon nag-star si Calvin Klein yung mga reflectorized na, na mga clothes. Uh-huh. So, para siyang reflectorized, pag tinataman ng ilaw, it gets even brighter, mga ganun tipo. Sabi ko, ay, that's perfect. Because sabi ko, shit, Calvin Klein. Tapos, hindi na ipagilista. Oh my God, I'll stamp myself in the fashion world. I'll be so good. She was holding a coking can. And then he says, Raymond, I'm having second thoughts. Sabi ko, oh my why? Gosh. What's wrong? She gets the coke, seriously to ha, pours it on her dress. What? Are you serious? And then, Oh my God, I think I spilled Coke on my dress. I Are you serious? <laughs> you never told me this story. Oh, because the story continues until New York. During this time, MTV has a channel already in MTV. And the show of Linda, uh, Cindy Crawford's Stylist. Yeah, House of Style. Was, House of Style is there. Yeah. A month after she goes back to New York, Cindy had a had the, had the Nyoras as one-in-one one show. 
si Naomi, si Claudia, Sha, and, so, and Cindy, uh, 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 Cindy uh, ano, Turlington, tama ba? Christy Turlington. Christy Turlington. So anyway, so obviously the time difference is malayo. So I wake up in the middle of the night, there's a phone call, Raymond, nasa ano ka, MTV stylist mo, gago. Sabi ko, ang, ag, uh, ang aga-aga, nang bubuis ka ng tao, I put the phone down. Calls me again, I said, you know what, I'm, I'm not in the mood for prank jokes, I'm I'm sleeping, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, goodbye. So the next morning, I get another phone call. Says Raymond, "Wag mo ibaba ang telepono. This is so and so forth from Eli, Pilipino. Do you know that you are in style, uh, in the house of style or stylismo? Because ibang title pag ginamit. Ah uh-uh. ah. I said, "No, why? I I didn't do anything." Said niya, "Ah, uh, it's because of that incident with the Linda Evangelista that I'm talking about." So I turned it on. Because nga delayed pa tayo. Hindi naman tayo oh. same ano. Oh my God. The first thing that I exactly pagbukas ko ng TV sabi niya. So I heard Linda that finally you you finally you met your match. You found a photographer who said that I don't want to shoot you. And oh I my did. gosh. As soon as she spilled the coke and sinabi ko, you know what? Fuck you, I said. We are under the same agency. I am under Elite. I am not under a Filipino agency. I'm going to call Elite now and tell them what a fucking moron you are and oh then tell gosh. them, oh, talagang galit na galit na ako kasi Tinapon yung cook. I packed up. I walked out. I was storming out of Manila Hotel. She started following me, running down the stairs from the from the, the suite where we were. And I said, Raymond, would you like me to shoot here? She threw it on. Nagpropose na siya sa gitna talaga ng mga columns ng Manila Hotel. Ako naman sa inis ko, you know what? Just to fucking finish this, ginanong ko lang yung camera, not even looking at her. And it went on a flash. And then I said, that's it. Goodbye. One shot for you. Goodbye. Wow. Ang yabang ko. And she got reprimanded. Ito nakakatao. I never saw my pictures because I sent all my transparencies. There transparencies pa. What came out because it was a Calvin Klein reflectorized shirt with gold. Ilaw lumabas, siya madilim naging silhouette siya. <laughs> so it became the laughing stock of fashion the time that, that Oh was... my gosh. So yes, wow, I had no, what a story. I had notoriety uh with notoriety. the super yeah, notar and notar. Okay, that one. <laughs> With dealing with supermodels. So, yun. Ang dada ko. Shit, maubusan tayo ng oras. Go. <laughs> so, what did this do for your ego? I mean, like, shooting None. the best, being at the top of your game. None. And None. then, I, do, I don't know if you remember that by the start of the new millennium, new bad boys were being born, you know, one after the other. They're coming out, emerging. And I remember we had a conversation once because when I started, when we launched Cosmo, Of uh-huh. course, you were always my favorite. Correct. Correct. Then, as the years went by, and we had more magazines, and they had younger and younger fashion editors, these fashion editors had their own uh, favorite photographers as course, well. I think it will. came to a point where you asked me, "Bakit hindi na ako kinukuha ng mga magazine niyo?" And then I think uh-huh. I explained to you, for me, you are my choice, but I have to leave it up to the fashion editors to choose who they want. How did that make you feel, and what did you realize at that point? Well, you know what? Uh, the reason I ask you is because I just wanted it clear in my head. I knew the answer. Of course, that, of course. I knew that uh, there were younger photographers, and like I said, I live by that rule that there will always be somebody younger and better than you. I live with that rule up to now, so it didn't hurt me. But the reason I just wanted to confirm, why did I want to confirm? Because once you know. Uh, how people view you or the state of right. uh, you are, I can move on and move forward. So it was it was helpful because ah, uh, I am anang magazine sa akin. Okay, then I will concentrate in advertising, you which know, is what was, you did, which is what I did. So kung ayon yung sa akin mag editorial, which didn't pay me as much, then I discovered right. utang nalo mas matas palang bayad sa advertising. It didn't stop me. I said, D, go. Sabi ko, you know, when one window closes, the other right. one opens. So, so, That was your first major pivot, right? And then you ran, yes. you became like the top pick for advertising because Correct. you knew the stars, you had relationships with the stars, Already. you knew how Correct. to shoot them, you knew how to shoot commercial. And this kind of pivoting as we were uh, talking about, I think, or Cambot, sabi mo. last week or Cambot, is what I think has sustained you throughout the years. Kahit na anong change mangyari, after, after that change, diba, the magazine started dying, print started dying, digital na. Anong klaseng pivot ang ginawa mo sa digital? 
Nauna ako ng Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. Nauna ako actually. You see, some people kasi because of my age, people say, ay, kasi tito na yan, kaya hindi na natin. No, but, but what they don't understand is this. If, you do, if you're not observant, what happens is kayo ang naiiwanan. The Correct. first flaw of this generation, and I'm telling the truth is, pag nauso ka sa Instagram, people will start following. And this is one thing I want to teach everybody, whether you're a photographer or not. Pag may uso, wag kayo makiuso if you want to stand out. Because that means you will, be never, you will never be number one. You will always be a secondary follower of the person who started it all. So ang nangyayari, like uh, I'll give you a good example. Nauso sa EDSA yung mga billboards, ang dami-dami billboards. It, there was a time when all my portfolio was, uh, I was in EDSA. So ganun lang ang nangyayari. <laughs> all, all color chat. And then the, there was a new uh, generation of photographers kami. So little by little, and that is reality, hindi na lang ako yung maraming ano, billboards at sa. But I said to myself, see, it didn't, it didn't make me feel bad. What it made me do was challenge me to up the ante. So ang ginawa ko, this is during the time of bio with, uh, uh, with Lea Salonga. So we went to New York and what I did was this. All my shots were in black and white. So in a sea of colored billboards in EDSA, suddenly Lea Salonga comes out in Bayo as a black and white in New York. So sa, yung mga tao, sayang yung pinunta mo sa New York, wala ka bang colored? No. You see, it becomes more expensive because I knew black and white was the only one there. So I was one of the first few people who did black and white billboards in EDSA. So again, biglang people were saying, hi, may alam si Raymond na hindi namin alam. It's not the truth. I am not a genius. I will never admit that I'm a genius in photography. I will never admit I am the best. But what I will tell you is this. I will always assess the situation and come right. out oh, oh, with, a, with a solution that will favor me all the time. So, so you're always, you know, always observing, always listening, always, always scoping out the competition. But not saying? even the competition, the situation. Because the situation. I, there, yeah, situation is more apt than competition because there will always be competition. So you'll get tired of saying, Ay, ka competencia ko yan. No, it actually is the competition always changes. But the situation is the one you need to take care of because the situation is a broader picture of what's happening more than the competition. So speaking of situation, uh, again, we talked about this in the last few weeks. What is the situation now for Philippine photography? I mean... The world has changed. The world as we knew it to be normal has changed. What will happen to photo shoots, ad campaigns? What's going to change? What are you already preparing for and projecting? All right. Without sharing too much of my secret, Secrets. I will not share too much of my secret. <laughs> I, will tell you, I will tell you this. People now kasi are always busy about, oh my God, I'm stressing out. I'm anxiety. Uh, I don't know what to do when I get out of that. You see, Anxiety and stress can be given one hour or two hours. That's what I say to myself. Oh, kung gusto mo umiyak, kasi umiyak ka muna. You know, you, you do that. But the rest of the day is about research, is about preparation. In fact, <clears throat> remember what I used to say, Mirza? Uh, Bahala na si Batman. Right. In fact, that saying is close, close to reality because I read comics. I'm a geek. I'm a nerd. Um, one of the things I learned in comics is this. The human, the human, uh, human nature or human, uh, human beings have only three, three ways to, to go through life. One is you adapt because everything is a different situation. So in this situation, we will know how to adapt. After you adapted to something, you will evolve into the new being. Every day that you wake up in the morning is actually a new evolution or a new version of Mirsa or Raymond because the, this day I've learned so much and then it goes into your head and then the next day you wake up I've learned something, then this is part of my arsenal. The third one is that you evolve. That's the reason why. Adapt, survive, and then once you survive, you evolve to that new person. So going back to being a photographer, how do you do this? Ito lang ang clue. If everybody is in social media now because of what's happening with the COVID and the, and the quarantine, then that's a clue. That means our future income will involve social media platforms. So without, again, saying too much, I would talk to my clients and offer already a program if you were a photographer. Listen, so if, guys. Yes, if I were a writer, I would say, let's make everything now social media centric. We're in, you know, people are connected. Because there will, you know what? This is the nice thing about there. Always, I never think of a crisis as always bad. 
there is always a good and bad side. If you look at the good side, oh my God, you will find treasures. This alone for me, quarantine, is such a treasure trove of ideas because right now, imagine writers can uh, explore the idea of doing things on social media. Photographers will now will plan things other than uh, stills. Hindi na uso ang stills, so you can go to videos actually, and it's the same process because technology has catch uh, has caught up with us already. So being a photographer and I uh, know it's the same because your phone, you can use it the same way, diba? So it's the same thing. You now if you want to be more professional, then you know you go on a higher level and study lang kung ano nangyari. And third, observe what's happening now because what I would tell you is observe the weaknesses of what people are having. These weaknesses are your doorways to the needs of what people will want in the future. So, wala pang, wala pang vaccine until next year. Oh my God, people can prepare from now until next year. The preparation is endless. Just don't be discouraged because the discourage uh, negativity problems, that, that's, part of, that's part of the victory at the end. Eh. So you can never have victory without failure talaga. Wow, grab yung energy mo. Where do you get the energy to always think ahead, project, observe? Parang di ka na ubusan ng energy. Where, one word, really where, one word, one word, insecurity. Oh, so you admit that you are insecure. I am insecure that I might not be the best. I my my greatest competition is myself. Oh. I don't wanna I don't wanna end up bobo. I don't wanna end up uh, not knowing what I'm supposed to know. I know that. I'm, I'm not trying to be religious. I know that when something happens, God provides you with all these opportunities. It's a matter of opening your eyes, being sensitive to all the possible the possibilities. The possibilities are endless. Eh? So I'm afraid if I miss an opportunity, that's the insecurity for me. So right now, I would rather not deal with uh, my anxiety. I do have anxiety. Don't get me wrong. I'm not perfect. There are times when I actually cry because I miss my mother now or something would trigger me. And that's normal. It's okay. But I'm not afraid. I'm not embarrassed to cry. I'm not embarrassed to admit I don't know anything. But once you know that you're not perfect, once you know there's something wrong, then that pushes you to know, okay, so let's look for the answer. So it doesn't stop me. It makes it propels me forward to even look for more answers. Kasi. I'm so impressed by how proactive you are. I think day one palang ng lockdown proactive ka na. I mean, your uh, Facebook live show started even before the yes. lockdown, right? I'll tell, I'll tell you why. Because I observed it already happening. So before the lockdown, I was prepared two weeks before the announcement of a lockdown. I knew we were going to go through a lockdown because China was going to a lockdown. People were slowly closing their borders. And I said, Impossible hindi natin gagawin because our healthcare system is not as good. So two weeks before that, sabi ko, what will I do? Kawawa naman ako, maluloka ako sa bahay, betche. <laughs> hindi ako pwede manood ng Korean novelo. No, no offense, I mean, some people find it, there's nothing wrong with that. But I cannot do that to myself. I need to be creative. I need to be proactive. So inisip ko na yung Facebook Live natin. So it was more to entertain yourself. Yes, thank you. It was not... <laughs> It was not for business. It was for me to keep my sanity. Then, because all along, I thought, wow, he's pivoting again. He's going to become a talk show host. Well, it, it made sense because you're so good at it. I mean, you, when you talk, it's a mile a minute. Walang dead air, di ba? Very perfect for a talk Oh, my God. Show. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sabi ko sa'yo, I, I cannot tell you who. But this is not the first time I did hosting like this. I've done this before. Kasi nga, what I said, I was theater. I've done this before with other mediums. And nobody knows it. But I don't, I don't carry my torch talaga as much. Because I feel like what I've done, I've done already. But one of the hardest things to do is to host an FB Live. Right. And, oh my God. Okay, I'll give you a secret. Uh, when I do FB Live, there is pre, pre, pre talks between the guests. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. oh, kunyari, Mirsa, ano mga hindi ko pwede pag-usapa? Pag-usapa ko ba? Nakita ko ba nipples mo? Or pwede ko ba pag-usapa? Baka magalit yung asawa mo si Andre that you have new chance. Hindi siya magagalit. Oh, Kahit pakita. Ayoko, <laughs> ayoko. <laughs> the point is, I want to be careful what I say in front of the guests. So I have guests na may linya, may lines and notes na ako before I go on. Mga so, bawal. Oo, oh, oh, mga bawal at mga what, what they want to talk about. Oh my God, I have two guests. I won't name name, but they <laughs> clam up to akin. 
So, nung nagka-clam up sila, natatakot ako. Oh my God, ano sasabihin ko? Hindi niya sinagot yung gusto niyang tanong ko sa kanya. Tapos ngayon, <laughs> hello Jennifer from Paris, I love you. And then, uh, I had to keep on talking to make sure that there was no dead air. Uh, one of the things that, because nga, I'm insecure about not knowing anything, I read a lot. And you gave me books also. When you read a lot, you experience life, you watch movies, you watch TVs. These are weapons that in your arsenal that you can use. So, kunyari, nag-uusap tayo, uh, Mirsa, and then suddenly, napatingin ako sa, ano, sabi ko, wala na ako masabi, Mirsa. Anong gagawin mo? <laughs> diba? Kailangan saluhin mo. So, ngayon, because you read a lot like what I do, siguro ang next, ano mo, ay, my God, nag-dead air tayo. Raymond, uh, do you watch certain movies or TVs that inspire you? <laughs> eh, diba? It's It's just normal. Right that you will ask me what inspires me because it's part of the conversation. But also at the same time, it will interest also your viewers kung ano yung magagandang pinapanood ko that might trigger off inspiration also for the viewers when they're, when they're if they are photographers or filmmakers, mga ganun people. So And ano yung mga, hindi ka naubusan ng inspiration? Parang, no, in your I computer ba, you, do you have like 200 tabs open and then it's, everything from A to Z. Oh my God, old school ako, may notebook ako. I even... Ah, have... oh, my notes. Notes. I actually write down notes. Uh, the best ideas come when I'm in the toilet. <laughs> Because I have no pressure except to defecate. Yeah, no, I'm bad boy, huh? intelligent. I have no pressure except to defecate. So my mind is like, okay, what do I do now? So, alam mo, oh my God, I read one chapter of one book in the toilet and I read another chapter. Then may comics pa ako. And then, Tito Jason would knock and said, Hoy, lumabas ka na dyan. May kliyente ka na sa labas. Oh, like, oh, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, right. Let me just finish one chapter. So, tuloy-tuloy. Learning is not, learning shouldn't be a, a chore. It should be part of your everyday thing. Be, the brain absorbs so many things that you know no matter what you do it it it's like a bank tanggap lang yan ng tanggap ng information and when the time comes and you need certain information the brain automatically clicks it forward so it it's always a good reservoir of information you know we were only using what 20% of our brain they say so what happens to the other 80% eh di gamitin ko na sayang di ba nasa akin naman to eh wala naman bayad gumamit ng utak eh. I think yung utak mo malapit na mag-disc full pero and yet hindi wala, pa rin. Wala. Walang disc full. <laughs> Do you know that the human brain uh, keeps on evolving so we will adjust. Wala pa nga tayo sa telepathic level yung you can move your objects with your mind. Shit. Gusto ko maabot yun sa level na yun. Do you think you will ever retire? What's that? Think, what's that? <laughs> you Maybe Will you ever get tired of photography? Because I know some of our uh, friends in the photography industry, some great ones, actually got tired of it and turned their back and reinvented themselves. Like Leland Uy. Oh, no. What happened to Reba her? Photography, she's now a very good Pilates teacher. She just, okay, I guess, I didn't know that. fell out of love with photography. I know chefs who became other things you know sometimes correct, correct. like we think they're gonna be photographers forever or chefs forever for you how do you see yourself do you think you'll ever fall out of love or get tired of doing that same thing i okay. retired after 25 years and people were shocked but for me it's time to do something else you see but you see that's the point um uh, uh not to step on other people's toes about photography but you see if you consider yourself as a photographer then you're just considering yourself on a career level Photographer right. lang ako. But I am not a photographer. I am a storyteller. There you go. So there is a big difference. If you're a storyteller, photography is just a medium to express the storytelling for me. I love sex. I love the sexy, erotic. I know that's why I do news. Sometimes now I love traveling because I discover other things. I became a travel photographer. I fell in love with people falling in love. I became a wedding photographer. You know, I, it's, not math, it's not being a jack of all trade, but it's just expressing yourself number one number two um when you are a storyteller photography is only one part of it i write essays i've been a columnist for uh telma san juan for inquirer and then marami na akong utang but there's sometimes i cannot write also for that because for ano to mga blind items baka ma, ma demand ako <laughs> and then the other one is uh there's the, there's also the new medium of digital and video so you know The, the possibilities are endless. The mere fact that I'm talking to you is already a medium for me because I'm a storyteller. 
Right. Storytelling is essential to the human soul. It's because it passes on emotions of one person and you learn from one another and that becomes, that be makes you a whole, uh, 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 it connects everybody together because we're all interconnected. And once you learn about somebody else, it becomes part of that, again, arsenal of things that you can use. So if I learn kunyari, that somebody has a, a heartache and tells me about it, sometimes I use it as my storytelling, photography, or video. It becomes part of life. Talaga. So for you, fundamentally, you want to tell stories. And photography is just a means. It's just one platform that you can do that. So I've done all the other parts. When I got, I, I, I'm not perfect. Tamaka, people will get tired of photography. I, there was a point I got tired because pare pareho na ang nakikita ko. Like, uh, no offense to the fashion magazines. Ano, lahat na lang drop out, white background, lahat na lang attitude, attitude. Pero, you know, there's no story. Naalala ko yun. <laughs> na parang, uh, okay, then for, let's forget this shit. Let's, meet, let's do something. That's when I started concentrating in writing uh, articles. And it worked. So by the time I was naman ako sa art, I naman ako ulit sa photography. And then it gives you it gives you different points of view. And daming points of view. And daming mong pwedeng gawin. What do you observe, good and bad, sa mga uh, new batch of photographers? Maybe let's stick to the millennials. Good uh, and bad. Good and bad. The, the good part the good part is I admire their tenacity and bravery to actually, you know, present themselves without... Yes, they fear ako. no one. Oh, yeah, parang, very confident. How can I be good before I told you that it took me five years to say that I'm good? I said, I'm good. You're just a campaign, you're good. I mean, you know, that, that, that I will give that. That is a good quality, but there are, you know, of course, there is also a bad side to that. However, the bad side is this. If you say you're good, which I know some of them are really good, you have to work and you have to do your sacrifice. You have to do your... You do your time. You, earn your dues. Earn your dues. Thank you, thank you. Earn your dues. Hindi porke magaling ka ngayon, magaling ka forever. Because most of the failures of most of the younger photographers are this. Magaling sila after one campaign. After that, o game nga, uh, let's see your longevity. Let's see how creative you are as you go forward towards time. Eh, iba, you know, human nature, iba na, na nasisira because of love, na, iba nasisira because business has failed. But you see, you create your own prison naman talaga at the end of the day. So let go of these walls that you think are important and these are the things that are not important in order to succeed. There are other things that, you know, that can make you succeed. Um, yun lang siguro yung bad side about the younger photographer. Uh -oh. But there are so many good ones. Huh? Right, so right. Hindi naman nila lahat, pero... Oo, oh, oh, maraming magaling. Nakaka-insecure na nga yung iba, no? I mean, I, I, I tell you, that's my, ano, the insecurity, my insecurity. Maraming magagaling. Maraming mas magagaling. And it takes a lot of courage to even say that, di ba? Na mas maraming magagaling sa'yo. Oh my God, I've been, saying, I've been saying that since the very beginning because sabi na nanay ko, no? My mom, before I before my mom let me go into the real world, that's the first thing he said. Hoy, wag mong sabihin porque mistiso ka magaling ka. Because I'm like, well, I didn't say that. <laughs> like, Andaan mo to. Pag lumabas ka dyan in the real world, may mas gagaling sa'yo. May mas gagwapo sa'yo. May mas, may mas na mas mag, ano, over and above that. So do not even sit on your own. Ano, Laurel, sabi niya. Sabi ka, ah, oh, okay. So her words keep you humble. Na alala mo pa rin ngayon kahit. No, so I'm saying I'm not humble. Eh. I'm insecure. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> you mean it? If I say I'm even humble, more brave. Oh my, oh my god, I am not I'm not humble, please. I am the last okay. person to be humble. I'm so vain. But these days, as it ba maging humble or talagang you really have to ano, ba? Put yourself out there and depend on Depende kung ano yung target ano result na gusto mo. It works both ways. Uh, some some clients or some people will respond to being humble. That's a good sign because that means uh, some people respond to somebody being mayabang and aggressive. That's also good. So why is that a good sign? Which means there is no monopoly of one person taking credit for everything. Which right. means there is always room for everybody to flourish. So kunyari, I'm the type of photographer na I want to be humble. Alam ko may market ako. But if, uh, if I'm the type of person na gusto ko marami ako si Instagram, gusto ko marami ako sa followers na, ano, na magpa-follow sa akin, then so be it because there is also a market for that. 
So, you know, everybody is on a win-win situation. You just need to open your eyes to which market niche right. or opportunity you want to take advantage of. And there's enough for everyone, do you think? Oh, oh. I never believed the man from the very beginning na ang dami ng photographers, mawawalan tayo ng trabaho. Of course. Oh, yun nga ang lagi kong narizinig. No, oh, that's not true. That's not true. I always There's encourage enough. the younger people, especially pag magaling, hindi totoo yan, sabi ko. Eh, kung nahirapan ka, bibigyan kita ng trabaho. Dito ka sa akin. And, and I will offer, I've secretly been offering uh, people in college, kunyari meron silang thesis, kasi I have this reputation in college before na nakipag-away ako sa thesis advisor. So they would get me to be their thesis advisor outside the school and I would help them, you know, do fo photo, photo uh, photo projects for their thesis and I would do it for free kasi yung iba daw nagpapabayad di ko naman alam na may bayad ko alam ko lang nagpabayad na ako matagal na <laughs> what are some of the things that you wish you could do that the younger photographers seem to be doing well na parang wow galing nila parang hindi ko na yan magawa or parang ibang iba na yan or wala <laughs> <laughs> Di ko masagot kasi when somebody tells me, oh my God, ang ganda nitong ginawa nitong photographer to. Look at this. This is one of a kind. I'm like looking. Uh, been there, been that. <laughs> yeah, been there, been that. We've done that already. You know what? I I I in, I in can tell when a photographer is good na pinag-isipan and I will always call that photographer or call that person out and Instagram. Ang ganda ng ginawa mo. Please keep it. Please keep, I will always do that. I've learned that from my seniors and I will pass it on forward. Pero... Most of the people now who think that they're doing good jobs, I think you should try it doing film. Para malaman yun that it really takes more than what it's supposed to be done. You have the luxury of digital photography to say. So I'm not gonna hold that against you. This is yeah. your time. This is the time you will discover yourself. Then do that. But don't come out to the world and say, kasi kanya na sa mga designer eh. Kaya, Kawawa nga pag may mga young designer, oh, ang gano'n, oh, may original ako. Tapos bigla may maglalabas sa, sa Facebook. Oh, di ba? Pareho ko yun ang design. See, who copied who? Gano'n dito. <laughs> Why do you think in 35 years, even if marami na ngang napanganak na bagong photographer, marami ng bata at sariwa, why do clients still get you? What is the secret? secret? If you could like name the top three reasons why you're still their pick up to now. I will give you the see, top seed. One is you plant your seeds. Right. When you're planting something uh, in the ground, hindi pwedeng, oh, di, nagtanim ako, dapat tomorrow may fruit na yung tree ko. It takes a while for your fruit, uh, for your, uh, plant, uh, your tree to bear fruit. It's the same with work and work ethics. You plant your seeds, you become humble, you work, you work the, you work the work, you do your juice, you, you know, and then, people will notice you that you're consistently good as a person because of your resp how responsible you will be. That is an asset, number one. Number two, like what I said, nobody is perfect, nobody is good. So you do not presume that you're the best. If you do that, that means that it's the death of you. Keep on studying because if you keep on studying, nobody can put one over you. In fact, that's why I'm saying, bakit ka prepared, Raymond, sa, sa quarantine? Because I, I, I predicted because I was studying, I was reading again, Alam ko na ganito mangyari. I was prepared for that. So studying is very important. Number three, consistency. You have to be consistent with hard work. You have to be consistent that you are there to, to, to prove that you, know, that you are creative or that you're a good writer or that, you know. Because if you're not consistent, ay tama rin ako. You know, there are days that you need to hit yourself. Ako nga, may mga days na gano'n. Putek, tumayo ka sa kama. Huwag kang tatamad-tamad. You know, lahat naman tayo may mga tamad, may mga tamad. Ayoko na right. mga photography. Bigay niyo na lang ang pera, ganyan. You know, in fact, there was one incident that you called me, you called out, I don't know if you remember, you called it. Uh, you called me uh, on this. Uh, Raymond, kasi ang ilaw mo parati was beauty light. Kaya, you know, we want to look for other people. Sabi ko, eh, pero yun ang parati hinihingi sa akin ang beauty light. Yeah, but you're not exploring anymore. You, 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 you've been in. You, you created so much of a comfort. Uh, comfort. Sinabi ko yun. <laughs> yeah, sinabi mo yun. Uh, comfort zone. And then I realized, oh my God, totoo nga. Sabi ko, why didn't I notice this? And no, but I'm saying it says it doesn't offend me. But it, I'm like grateful that people point it out. So when people point it out, shrug it off. Thank you, and then I will do better next time. You know. 
it's a, it's a simple process of ano naman doing better always eh. so walang ano doon eh walang kaso doon and the third one is always the I, the last one that i will say is this no matter what you do do not be discouraged because life is always full of problems and failures if you think that will stop you from being who you are then i'll give you a pill magpakamatay ka lang because life was never easy in the beginning but you see i've converted that idea if life gives gives me you know problems i love it because now it becomes a challenge it becomes a puzzle for me to solve parang ah ganun ha sige may covid tayo tignan natin i want to get around and then once you solve it it gives me that high na i actually conquered the problem that was given to me and it just makes you like what you said bakit ang energy mo grabe ka lahat ng tao na kaya sa iyo yeah go go Nakakahawa, di ba? Biglang nagka-Facebook live na rin ako nang dahil sa iyo. Boy, hindi naman. Huwag ka naman. No, but you really inspired me and gave me the push. So, Can I make you abang? Sure. Kaya ako nagkaroon ng Facebook live rin si James Deacon because I guested him in my first Facebook live. You started niya, a trend. And then sabi niya, teka. Tapos biglang na, you know, I'm by the James because my Facebook live is 3 o'clock. And then sabi niya, hindi kita sasabayan na para you can have your audience. I'll start my night five o'clock. Sabi ko, salamat. Hindi kita kaya, kaya labanan. Five o'clock din ako. <laughs> hindi kita kaya labanan sa audience mo kasi sabi ko, oh my God, that's James Deacon. I had like 10,000 views kaagad for him. What was the most difficult besides the COVID situation? The most difficult thing you ever had to undergo career-wise or business-wise even? When, na kala mo magkukuit ka na. When somebody stole, uh, twice, when somebody stole money from my company. I was working oh my gosh. so hard. I was working so hard to to make sure everything was okay. And then you wake up one day, shit, ninakawang ka na pala. Ayan, April, kilala mo yan. <laughs> I feel bad because I work, you know, when you work, the thing about people don't answer when as a photographer you don't work na sa'yo lang mapupunta yung pera you have employees and these employees have families under them so when people say ah single ka naman Raymond wala ka naman anak wala ka naman that's not true I have an empl- I have a, a 20 people employee uh, and then these 20 people have 20 families under them so can you imagine the responsibility I have during this time <laughs> Right, especially during this time. Especially during this time. Kaya nga sabi ko, uh, and I'll be, I'm not trying to, this is not false humility or something like that, but the point is, uh, if I'm going to donate, eh, bigay ko na lang doon sa, sa mga empleyado ko who have families na alam ko that they will need it anyway. So, I mean, I'm, I mean, marami naman kayong tumulong na mas mayaman sa akin, the truth is. And the truth is, people say, ang yaman-yaman mo, hindi ko totoo yun. Pero thank you po for voting that positivity towards my end. Sana magsadi lang ang hell kayo. Lahat kayo magsabi, umaman pa ako ng umaman. Kasi po, ninakawan po ako. Yan po yung totoo. So what twice. did you learn? What did you learn twice? Same person? Uh, no, the other person was another person. I, 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 I'm too trusting. I trusted okay. this person again. So, so now, What what have you done para hindi maulat? Si Jason na may <laughs> si Jason na mantay ko. <laughs> Thank you Jason is the most uh, I I don't know I don't know what I'll do. She he found out he took care of everything. He, I you know I'm a bitch but this guy has so much patience over me. I swear my god if you if I were you I'd leave you ready. <laughs> Ako na lang <laughs> sabi oh. Wow, we love Jason. No, no, no. I'm talking about ko. Ako, ako, ako ah, yung atawa ko sa dili ko. Sabi ko, siguro, iniwanan na kita, Raymond, ang kulit mo. <laughs> you just found the right person for you. Boy, that's also nice about ano, love life. You know, people get frustrated about, bakit Ayan ako wala, wala, oh, bakit ako wala pa rin ganun. Nako, you're concentrating on the wrong, ano, do not look for love. The best thing is, if you are a better person, oh my God, I promise you this. It's like a lighthouse. You will have to fend off people. I don't like you. Ayoko ikaw. Yeah, ganyan mangyayari. Work on yourself. Yes, work on yourself. And you will attract time. love. The right kind of love. The right kind of love. Ah. The right kind of love. Speaking of money, na ninakaw sa'yo, pero I'm sure you earned it all back. Can a photographer... <laughs> Ay, may tawa. <laughs> Natawa lang Can... ako sa sinabi. Can a photographer ever become rich? Yayaman ba sa photography ang... Um... 
Uh, not in the Philippines. Dederecho ka na kayo. Not in the Philippines. But if you're a photographer in New York, uh, some people, kunyari like Annie Leibovitz uh, filed for bankruptcy. I-google nyo kung hindi nyo kilala. Yan ang ayoko na sa mga bagong photographer. Hindi nila kilala yung mga dapat kilala nila. Annie Leibovitz filed for bankruptcy. But the truth of the matter is mayaman pa rin siya. Kasi... Secret! Baka ba, ma BIR siya. She was, selling, she was selling her pieces pa rin. People still get her. Mayama pa rin oh. siya. Mayama so you pa. can sell your art and become rich? Oh my God. Eh, hindi ba yung art? Ano yung art ng banana lang? In, in ano yung sa banana yeah. sa world? So is this yung something ma- that you have done as a source of income? Uh, no. Not art? in the Philippines. Again, again, not in the Philippines. If I wanted to be an international photographer and get rich, I would move out. I was offered already to move to New York before, but I did that because, again, I was thinking way ahead. I think, I planned my life because three years, five years, prime numbers, because there is a cycle of life that happens to you. Anyway, that's another story. The point is, if I move to New York, I'll be a second-class citizen because I'm not ano, eh. And well, now, it's a different world, right? It's But during my time, oh, oh, but during my time, imagine if I move there, maybe after five years, I don't have to use Somebody else would take over. Si, ano nga, uh, Patrick Dimashile, yung anak na niya nagtitake over dun sa business niya. Si Herb Ritz, nagbebenta na lang ng mga ano, ng kanyang, ay, Herb Ritz si uh, Bruce Weber, nagbebenta, patay na nga pala si Herb Ritz. Si Bruce Weber, nagbebenta na lang ng mga prints siya, and he still gets money from all of this. So, ano yan eh, uh, mayayaman sila basically because for for people to survive in the States na mayaman, may, may ipon ka na kagad from that family. So, ang hirap talaga maging mayaman also in the Philippines. But but maybe it depends on what you mean by mayaman. But can you make a good living out of it? I'm I know yes. a lot of photographers yes. who make a oh, good living. Oh, yes, you can. I mean, I am jealous of people who are endorsers of uh, brands in photography. Hindi naman ako teki, but uh, I can name so many people that have made them who made a living because they're endorsers of lights, endorsers of camera equipment. Doon lang pala, ano, yung mama na, ako nga sabi ko, shit, ba't ako nagkakahirap-hirap na mag-shoot ng advertising? Eh kayo pala, kunan nyo lang ng picture ito, binabayaran na kayo ng international brand to to just do this and feed it so in So you there. can bank on your reputation and fame and success in, in order to make money. And yes. not necessarily on the work? Yes. In the beginning, you can, but you need to be consistent. So, for example, there are photographers na walang trabaho. When they gave lectures on YouTube, dun sila naging famous, yumaman, so other brands were supplying them. Yumaman sila. Millionaires. I'm talking about millionaires here. Yeah. So, is and this then, something you're exploring also? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why will I go? No, 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 no. It's not indicated. Why will I compete with a uh, uh, set talent that I that I have nothing that I don't know anything about? My set talent, parent, is storytelling. So, and I know for a fact, only a few people can tell stories correctly. So I will I will invest in my storytelling. People. So can, you know, you know your strengths. I know my strength, and you know, YouTube is not my strength. So I'm not gonna go there and say, bumili ho tayo ngayon ng isang cup of coffee. Ito po ay magandang pampailaw. Ay, naku, tistigilan nyo ko. I, I don't know how to do that. I'm ignorant when it comes to that. You know? <laughs> so would you say, all in all, if you were to sum it all up uh, into the secrets of success, would you say, like for me, if I try to distill all the factors that okay. make you successful, the way you are, it's more than just talent. You have talent, a great personality, good rapport, clients love you. Uh, you're good at networking. You're good at building relationships. You're <laughs> always... <laughs> so for those who only probably have talent at the moment, what should they work on? Or what should... What if they're introverted? What if they're not machika? What if Oy. they're... So there sure. are, no, there are, in fact, um, you know what, you have to find a mentor. I'm telling you this because mentorship has gone away in this generation, but mentorship is important. Uh, kunyari, sabi mo, there's a, there are photographers not like me, on the opposite side, introverts. I have a photographer, an assistant, who's such an introvert. You know what, I encourage this person to shoot product shots, and now this person is doing books. Wow. And then I have another one who's an introvert, moves to uh, the Middle East. 
utang na loob, mas mayaman pa siya sa akin. Minsan ka naiingit ako. And then, I'm sure you work with another person. I won't say the name yet. But nasa New York siya ngayon. Again, he's earning more than I do. I'm like, you know, if I want to earn as part of my, ano, then maybe I would have that as my objective. But I've, I've seen people get rich. I've seen people in my, in my 35 years, I've seen artistas, VIPs, politicians, millionaires who have gone to the height of their career and then have, have plummeted because the lifestyle sila. And I'm mm. afraid of that. So I chose, and I'm being honest, I chose to lead the most simple life I can. And I mean that. The only uh, uh, bisho or frivolous thing that I will spend for is traveling. Because I love to learn from other coaches. I love different points of view. And it fuels my passion. It fuels my inspiration in photography, video making. I do videos. I, you know, all these things. It just fuels, it fuels so much of that passion inside. And then, and daming possibilities kasi na pwede mangyari. So it's not, it's not porque I'm connected, I'm well, ano. No, you need to have a mentor who can actually tell you, magaling ka. Maybe you should try this. Kaya, right. I, those, that's, I think, one of the basic uh, uh, weaknesses of this generation. They think they're good already. Listen to the wisdom of the old. They've gone through this. Mas makakatipid kayo on the evolution of trying to figure things on your own. Because these people will tell you, oh, na punta dyan. And good mentors are those who are secure. They won't be afraid to tell you these secrets. If you are worth it, trust me, if you are worth it. Pero kung pumasok ka kagad, magaling ako. Kasi, alam mo, ang dami kong followers. That's not a trade. That's not an asset. Your asset <laughs> is... Kaya to? Ay, <laughs> Mamaya ka after the chat. Marami, marami, marami. And it's not one person, but marami silang ganyan. So you're say, saying find your own niche, diba? I remember then before there was a photographer who said, "Bakit yung mga fashion editorial hindi niyo ko binibigyan? Products na lang lagi." And true enough, like you said, siya ang naging pinakamagaling sa products and hindi siya naubusan ng work. Like every product out there, he Siya ko ko, diba? That's why that's exactly what I'm saying. Ako nga Uh, you, I'm human. Minsan gusto kong pagpilitan ng sarili ko to do something. But then again, you you have this uh, clarity that suddenly tells you, take muna, pagpilitan mo sarili mo. It's like it's like a love affair, you know? You don't force yourself on somebody else because kung hindi ka naman ng tao, edi, mag-aanap ako, hindi lang naman ikaw ang tao sa mundo. And it's the same with jobs. If this certain magazine or this certain client doesn't like you, so be it. You know, li- that's how life rolls. And then, There is always one person that will always match you. And trust me, I'm talking from where I'm standing right now. And, and it may sound, I'm too positive, I'm too, you know, but there is always a match for everybody. And I'm not talking about love only. I'm talking about work. I'm talking about passion. I'm talking about your soulmate. Meron yan. You just need to open your eyes and listen. Mahili kasi tayo maging ego first thing. Eh. That's why I've survived. I before I put my ego first, I listen to people. Ah, yung pala ang sinabi ng client of pues. I will listen and then I will make sure I will take advantage of the information that's given to me. Listen first. <laughs> so, ngayon naman, if you don't mind, 'di ba? Ano, parang you're telling me na meron kang mga ibang outside of your field of work. Okay. You have a lot of like extracurricular <clears throat> out there, like uh, some charity, helping others. Can you talk about uh, some of the things that maybe secret, no? Pero maybe in general. Medyo, medyo secret, but I will tell you in general. In general, the in general, gist. Uh, I, my priority is always education and tao because the basic thing is I like before I continue. I'd like to thank you for that beautiful question and uh, thank you <laughs> for the wonderful question. For the wonderful question, but usually education. Why is education good? It's because sometimes our life is uh, most of the people don't have good uh, grow, don't have good situations in growing up. Makabawi lang ang tao when you're. Kaya nga when somebody comes in, kasi mahirap lang ako. That is not an excuse. Opportunities are there. Don't tell me, mahirap lang ako kaya wala akong alam. Hindi mo totoo yun. Just ko at this age, at this time, day and age, ang daming internet, ang daming taong pwede tumulong na who will guide you. And there is, there are always opportunities. That's why education is good because I wanted people who don't have the opportunity 
to have that opportunity. So one of the secret projects I have basically deals with given, giving opportunity to those people who are actually talented, who are actually working harder than the normal person because ang dami nilang ganyan. They work harder, hindi sila napapansin. Sabi ko nga, ah, gusto mo makipag-away, halika. Come to my studio, I'll take care of you. That's what I always tell these people. I will provide the opportunity for you, but the only promise I will say is once the opportunity is given, please take advantage of the opportunity. Do not step on anybody's toes. Do not be egotistical because once you know that you will step on something that's important, we have a tendency to be mayabang. And third, please deliver, deliver the goods, deliver work, deliver... You know, it's not about magaling ako or non-recognize ako, but you know, ma-recognize ka today, you know, the next day, malay mo hindi ka na magaling. You know, it, it, that's what I said. Ganun na nangyayari. What's your, uh, what do you want your legacy to be? That is also a beautiful question. I don't thank know. Thank you for the wonderful thank question. You, thank you for the wonderful question. The first <laughs> thing that I want to realize is that I don't know how to spell legacy, so it's <laughs> <laughs> it was never part of my it was never part of my equation. So you don't have like an intentional plan of how you want to be remembered or No, because you know uh, that's why you know that's why awards everything like this Right, awards. It becomes egotistical in nature eh? because yeah. oy marami akong award oh tingin mo magaling ako dito 1988 o oh, magaling ako dito 1990 o oh, pagdating na 2000 sasabihin na ng tao sa Uh, pero yung award mo, 1980s pa. Eh, anong galing mo ngayon? So it becomes, it just becomes ego. There was a point when books were uso and then sabi, oh, Raymond, you should publish a book. I said, no. Because when you put out a book, it, I I believe, oh, yan na parang, I believe it becomes very ego in nature because... But you did put out a book. I did put out a book that was helpful and it was it was more propelling for people than talking about myself. Oh. I didn't talk about na... Oh, you know, when I was young, I was born in the stormy night of 1963, and I didn't wonder that you know I would reach this age right now. No, I didn't want. I didn't want that that scenario. I wanted a book that would help other people. So you so didn't want to brag about your achievements, but no, you wanted to... because your achievements will be dated. Ayo, oh, each achievement becomes dated. You, the thing about human nature is that you don't realize when you talk about achievements. It it only it only centers on yourself. So, wait, alam mo ba? Ako nagimbento nito. Eh, you know, you'll never know the next person talking to you. Say, eh, ano ngayon ko ikaw nagimbento nito? You know, it just becomes egocentric. Any achievement becomes egocentric. An achievement is when you purposely go out of your way and do something, and it actually helps a person. In fact, if you're going to ask me what my greatest achievement is, this. And I cry every time somebody messages me. Dear Raymond, I would get in Facebook. Um, you don't know me, but I attended your workshop. I was the quiet person there. I thought I, this was the end of my career. When I listened to you, your spark, your passion, and what you taught me that, that very day ignited that same inspiration. And, and, and now I have a successful studio and business. Wow. I just want to say thank you. This is maybe the legacy I want to hear. Yes, I don't want to yeah, know I don't want to know about awards. I, I don't believe in awards anymore at this point in time. Seriously, I don't. Wow. Thank you for that very wonderful answer. Hindi pa natalo na ako ng Miss Universe pag sinabi ko yun. Ikaw nang the forever bad boy. Turn. Ikaw bad boy. Gusto ko manalo doon sa question ko ng Miss Universe kasi di ba ang ganda-ganda na ang sagot ko? My legacy is when I make one life better after they talk to me yes i thank life. you i thank you and that is the essence of that is the essence raymond of... isaac thank you so much <laughs> 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 those are the things those are the things that make me cry change well, one life. one life that's all I'm i i'm sure ask you're making a lot of our followers cry and Sa'yo na nga talaga ang corona, not the virus, but Ako, uh, corona ng generosity, humility, and helping others. Thank you lang, so much. Oh, meron pa. Meron lang akong advice. If you see me, 
hindi po ako masungit sa labas kasi sabi nila number Mukha one lang. Ako. Mukha lang ako masungit number one number two wala ako akong salamin minsan hindi ko kayo nakikita number three I am very worried saying hi to people because sabi nila kamukha ako daw si, si, Brillante, si Brillante Mendoza <laughs> So, may nagpapa-autograph sa akin sa Green Belt one time. Sabi, sir, 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 pa-autograph. So, nagpa-autograph ako. Tapos biglang at the end of the autograph, anak, may autograph na tayo kay Brillante. Like, leche. Hello, Brillante, if you're watching. <laughs> Brillante, if you're watching, I love you, but huwag ka lang gagawa ng masama. Baka kasi batukan ako ng tao. Akala nila ako yun. <laughs> but no, no, you're joking aside. But, you know, I'm... I'm not trying to be humble. I am not. I, it's just that after you've gone through so many hardships, so many, you know, you realize it's not those things that are important. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you so much, Raymond. Meron pa tayong ano, broadcast mamaya. Hindi ko pa papagod. Hindi pa tayo maglabada. Thank you for your time, your generosity. Thank you for sharing all those secrets. I'm sure all your fans and followers and all the budding photographers are now mga budding photographers there. yeah okay. yes and there are a lot there are a lot of uh, photography groups that i share this link to and they're all oh my god the stress ako hindi mo sinabi sa akin na may sharing hindi mo stress hindi mo sa akin sinabi na share ng link but everyone if you have other questions maybe we can do a part two. True, or I can tell you what the next business is for the part two. Thank you, Before you uh, say goodbye, I'd like to thank uh, our viewers. As of now, we have 24 viewers watching. Salamat sa mga pinsan ka mag-anak at binayaran ko para manunod. Hi, Ma. Hi, may wala na nanay ko, so hindi pwede. Thank you, Jason, for watching. Thank you, Bianca, for watching. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for your support. And thank you, Raymond. I love you. No, I love you. Are we seeing each other later? Of course. Sige, message mo ako kasi magpapahinga muna yung bosses ko for update. All right. I love you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.